All right, welcome back to the Ultimate Mixdown. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the essential techniques that every beginner should know to speed up your workflow and improve your MIDI tracks drastically. We'll cover everything from the essentials of the MIDI editor all the way through editing, quantizing, and tweaking the velocities of the MIDI notes so that you can achieve more professional sounding MIDI performances. And if you're just starting out from scratch, be sure to load up my Ultimate Reaper template. You can find the link to the free template in the description below. But let's dive right into it. All right, so we've loaded up our new project. So double click and create a new track. And then we're going to select four bars and we'll go insert new MIDI item. And we'll also click effects to add whatever sound we want to add onto it. So I'm going to just add this grand piano here. And if you don't have any VSTs for it, there's plenty of free ones. Grand piano is a prime example. So make sure you grab those so that you can load it onto your tracks. And now to work with the MIDI editor, we just simply double click this MIDI item. And there's a lot going on here, but once we get through this, you're going to feel like it's a lot easier than you thought. So a few things to point out. We have the notes of the piano roll on the left, and then we have the timing on the right. So much like the arrange window, we have the bars here. So bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four. And these notes are all the notes that would transpose to your MIDI keyboard, or if you don't have a keyboard, you can draw those notes in manually, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. A couple other things I want to note before we get into that. You want to make sure show grid is on. This just makes it very easy to put the notes in, make sure things are lined up accordingly. And then the other thing that's on by default is snap to grid. This makes sure that those notes that you create snap to the closest timing on the grid that you're working with. You set your grid down here. So I'm actually going to change this to 16th notes. Okay, or you could even go with 8th notes to start. A couple more things to note. To zoom, you scroll with the scroll wheel. Scroll up, scroll down, and that zooms you in and out. If you hold Option or Alt, that's going to help you go left and right in the window. So that's how we move around. And then we also want to make sure that we have the BPM of our song set. So back in the Arrange view, I have it set to 120 beats per minute. But it's up to you what your song is, so you might want to increase or decrease that as necessary. So to create notes, it's extremely easy. You click and drag, and you can click and drag for the length of the note. On top of that, you can just create notes by double clicking. So double clicking or click and drag, either way. And then you can select the notes that you created just by clicking on them. And if you want to select multiple notes at a time, you can marquee select by holding the right click and putting your mouse over the notes you want to select. Now, if you accidentally created a note, you can select that note and click delete. Or a faster way is to hold the Alt key and then click and drag over it. So left click and drag over those notes. And you can erase multiple notes at once just by doing that. So if we have some notes and we like the way that it's going or we want to loop them. So let's just create a few different notes here. And I don't want to add all these notes manually for the rest of the item's length. I'm going to marquee select with the right click. Command C to copy and command V to paste. And it will paste those notes accordingly. The same thing goes for chords. So if you had certain chords, I'm just gonna add an octave down below. And then I'll just create a simple chord structure here real quick. All right, so we have a C chord right here. You can marquee select that. Command C, command V, and you can paste them across. Now another cool feature is you don't always have to draw the notes exactly to the length that you need right off of creation. You can adjust the length by just hovering over to the left or right side of the note, clicking and dragging. And pro tip, if you want to adjust the length of the note, but you don't want it to snap to the grid, you can hold the shift key and that will allow you to adjust the length of the note without adhering to the grid. And you can also do the same for moving the note. So if I drag this note around, it will snap to these bars wherever I take it. But if I hold the shift key, I can adjust it and fine tune it as necessary. Now, if you wanted to adjust all of the notes for a given space, so maybe all of these C3 notes here, the high C that I have in my chords, I can just right click it on the piano and it will select all of them for me. Say I don't want them, I can delete them. All right, or I could drag them down and make it an octave lower or an octave lower than that. You didn't, maybe you didn't like the way that these notes sounded in the chord and you want to change that up or certain notes in a melody you'd rather go up than down things like that will help you because now you can adjust everything all at once 
And then the last thing I want to mention is if you accidentally delete something or you accidentally created something that you don't want there, you can always Command Z to undo. And then if you realize that you actually did want to make that happen, you actually did want to delete these notes or something, Command Shift Z or Control Shift Z will redo the action that you just undid. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the CC lane or the control change lane. Now you can select different things like velocity, pitch, uh, and so many other things. Modulation, we're going to work with velocity. So velocity is essentially how hard those notes are being hit or played from the instrument. And in this lane, it's extremely simple to adjust things. You can click and drag up and down. So I can change the velocities of these notes in the chord. Or if we have individual notes, it'll be just the one note. You can marquee select the notes and change all the velocities at once. But one of the coolest features is the automation that you can do here. And I can actually click and drag and change all the notes in this lane just by moving up and down. So if you have a melodic piano or you have some kind of strings or something and you want a more realistic feel, so instead of having all the velocities you know, maxed out, you can come in here, you can click and drag up and down just to make it a little more realistic. All right, and you can do the same thing, as I mentioned, for so many other things. You could change the pitch. I mean, you can see all the lists here. This is really just opening up such a world of possibilities. So not only can you create the notes and adjust the notes and create the chords underneath the notes, but you can also automate every detail that you want. Sound professional, it sound the way that you want it to sound. If you find that you don't like the automation that you did, you can always right click on the name and click clear lane. And if you wanted to see more, then just one lane, you can go ahead down to the bottom here, click add to add another lane, and then select what you want to show in that lane. Or you can right click and click add lane, and then select from this menu here. And again, if you don't want to start your projects from scratch, I strongly urge you to get my free Ultimate Reaper template. Other than that, get out there and get started, and happy creating, my friends.